Hi, friends. Welcome back to the Alternatives podcast. We have a very special guest that we are excited for you to meet today. Um, and she has an announcement to make and um, just some good stuff to share with you. So um, we have Megan Donovan. Um, some of you might have met her before, but she hasn't been on the podcast yet. She is the president of our board of directors, and it's just such a blessing to AMC and um, just the, the wisdom she offers, the leadership she offers. Um, Megan, can you tell us a little about yourself? Yes. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Kena. It's good to be with you two today. Um, well, yes, I was born here in Escondido and raised here. I went up to school at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo and came right back down here. I jumped into the recreation management field, uh, then moved over to biotech and clinical trials, which was very interesting. Um, and that's when my husband and I decided to start our family. And that was about 17 years ago. Um, I've been at home with my kids and my husband since. And we've been doing a partial homeschool program, like a hybrid program that's worked really well for us. Uh, and then, yeah, just this past year or so, 10 months, we've been in lockdown, the five of us with our two large dogs. <laughs> and it's absolutely God's daily mercy carrying us through. But actually, there have been a lot of blessings this past year, too, with my teenagers and husband. Um, it, it's like a party every night here at 1030 p.m. Everybody comes to life, and it's going to be a lot of dorm days. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you, Megan, for telling a little bit personally about yourself. It's always fun to hear that side of things. Um, so then why did you decide to become a part of Alternatives? Yeah, well, when I came back from school in 1999, I had some experience in grant writing and fundraising and was really eager to volunteer and put some of that to work. Um, so I reached out to Alternatives to see if I could help um, to volunteer in some capacity and I've stayed ever since. I just so appreciate what Alternatives is to our community, the practical hope and the help they give to those who are in need. Um, and also just the, the staff, the volunteers. It's like a family, a second family to me for sure. So it's been definitely more of a blessing to me, I think, than I've been to them. Um, one thing that actually stands out was um, back in 1999, I worked with one of our nurses who's still there on an STD grant proposal, and it did not get funded, but it's been pretty cool to see that in God's timing, that program was funded and started so many years later. So it's been neat to see the patients and God's perfect timing in that. Mm, that's great. Thanks for sharing some of that history, because I think sometimes we don't get to hear that or we don't know <laughs> the background, but the history is great to hear and then see how things happen in the right timing. So thanks for that. Uh, well, for our listeners who haven't heard yet, would you be willing to share the announcement that we made last month? Yes. So we are in a season of transition at Alternatives. After 10 years of faithful and phenomenal service, our very well-loved uh, CEO, Tammy DeArmas, stepped down. Um, and I mentioned in a previous email that I sent out, it's just with mixed feelings. Like, we are so grateful for her and incredible legacy that she leaves for us all, the work she's done for us. Um, and we're very sad to see her move on as well. It's just um, bittersweet in ways. Great. Well, thank you. So what does that mean now for the podcast? We know that Tammy was heavily involved in that. And so where do we go from here? Yeah. And this podcast is just one of the many amazing ideas that Tammy's brought to fruition down at Alternatives. And so now though that we're in this season of transition, we're gonna be uh, simplifying and focusing on just the daily operations of the clinic. We're still seeing patients and providing ultrasounds and STD testing. And that is gonna be our primary focus in this season and supporting mm -hmm. um, the operations, daily operations down there. So we'll be putting the podcast on hold for a, a while. Yeah, you said, you know, really focusing on simplifying and honing in on um, alternatives and just the heart there and serving the community. But what does kind of this change that we have this season of transition, what does that mean for alternatives? 
Yeah, so it is. It's big changes for alternatives. Um, we've had a, a plan for this. We've implemented our succession plan. Um, so Kena and I will be leading alternatives in this interim season. And on that note, I am so grateful to work with you, Kena, and your leadership here. I just appreciate um, all the work you're doing to keep us up and running. And um, as I mentioned before, we, we are still, operations are still going on down there. That's awesome. And so looking forward, you know, a new director one day, who's looking for the new director? Yeah, great question. So we have, do have a formal search committee for that, and that is being led by our board secretary, Linda Robeson. Uh, you may have seen an email that went out earlier this week from her uh, in regards to that. Great. And then um, there, can you tell us what they're looking for as they search? Is there kind of specifics that we can let people know of? And if they know of anyone, they can pass this information on? Sure, yeah, well, ultimately, it's someone who just has a heart and a deep love for the work being done at Alternative Medical Clinic. Um, the initial description that they've provided, the search team has provided, I'll just read to you. Uh, it says, we are seeking an individual to manage and represent the Alternatives Medical Clinic with a passion to empower women and men to make life-affirming choices concerning pregnancy and sexual health. And so, yeah, we are encouraging people to um, reach out to us uh, in the email we've provided um, uh, where to do that, but you can certainly reach out directly to me at mdonovan at amc-ca.com. Great. Well, thank you, Megan. We really appreciate all you're doing as you step in to help us as a staff, as you step in to help me. Um, it's just uh, great. We, we all want to go through this transition well together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, for our listeners, it's been so fun getting to dive into all of these topics and um, share our guests with you, our friends. And um, yeah, it's just been a fun time. And we look forward to hopefully doing that in the future. Um, but in the meantime, we still would love to connect with you. I know I've shared before we're on social media. We are on Instagram at Alternatives MC. Facebook, we are just Alternatives Medical Clinic. Um, YouTube, we're at Alternatives Medical Clinic. And then we do have a newsletter that goes out. So if you would like to start receiving the newsletter, you can email me and I'll add you to that list. My email is development at amc-ca.com. Um, thank you guys for just being a part of this journey with us. It's been so fun. And thank you, Megan, um, for your leadership and all of this and just your heart behind um, what you do and um, just your heart for the, the men and the women that we serve, um, what a blessing that is. So thank you for that. And um, our listeners, we look forward to talking to you in the future and hope to connect with you online. Talk to you later.